What's up guys, very cool Alan here with another video for you and today we're going to be looking at the Google Nexus 6 running official Marshmallow Android 6.0 just got it installed today it is October 5th Monday we just got it in um, it's ready to go this is a new lock uh, boot animation so just make sure you check this out it's pretty cool a little different than we're used to running at full 60 frames per second awesome little Android intro to start the day I just flashed just everything up so let's just see a little overview little review of how it works and everything okay so you're gonna notice that when you start up the lock screen has a new little um, subtle change in font it's actually a little bolder and a little more clear to read and you're gonna notice that right here where it used to be the call uh, button where you slide it up to get the call log it's now a microphone so now it goes to Google uh, search so you can say Google sucks just kidding just getting alright close enough alright you can just go home alright and just to show you that it is actually 6.0 we're gonna go up down about phone Android version 6.0 and if you click on it many times, you're going to get the little cool little Easter egg that has an M for Marshmallow. You click it again, it's going to have a little Android Marshmallow. Then you tap it, and then you hold it. And then it's a new game. You're going to find out that it's a little bit easier to play, uh, maybe. Yeah, it is. feels easier, since it's not, it doesn't seem as hard. Uh, but yeah, alright, let's go home. You're going to notice a new uh, app drawer it's now um, vertical instead of horizontal like it used to be on older Android versions now it is vertical going up and down no more you know scrolling left to right pages like it was before some people like this some people hate it but you know you just get accustomed to it and here's the suggested apps alright now one thing that's very different about this build is the new um, Google on tap now on tap so all you gotta do is just hold the home button and it just scans the entire screen so you just put get started and then set it up yes I'm in and boom nothing on tap well that's because I don't have anything really searching I don't have any messages right now you can still go to Google now if you if you go to the uh, swipe to the left you go Pasadena where I live Texans they lost because you know they're kinda sucking right now uh, game recap so all that you already know one thing to note also is that uh, frame rate with this um, new build is actually really smooth I haven't seen any stuttering any lagging like I did lollipop everything is way smoother it feels smoother I don't know if it's because just a fresh build but even when I had a fresh build on lollipop it wasn't as smooth uh, now another little hidden Easter egg little thing is the gear animation right here you're gonna see that if I press on it it's gonna start spinning and you let it go it says congrats system UI tuner has been added to the settings so you go up here and then oh actually it's all the way down here so the system UI tuner and right there it says fun for some but not for all and basically what this is is a little bit of cyan engine mod mixed into the notifications bar so it's the quick settings you can actually like move them to see where it goes so I'm just gonna put this down here because I never use it the cast button you can add a tile which is the broadcast tile I mean that's basically it nothing else uh, status bar yeah to see which ones you want enabled which ones you don't want enabled demo mode and then you can show the battery percentage on the little battery icon right there so that's it and then you can move from settings and reset everything back to the way it was <clears throat> now one more thing that we can see it has a little memory tab now so it shows it shows you the average memory use of the RAM we got three gigabytes of RAM it's only used less than a gig that's pretty good uh, I haven't used anything you know I don't have any apps installed yet so it's gonna change Another feature that I can't show you is doze mode, which is uh, how the apps behave while the phone is sleeping. I don't have any apps again, but I will show you along the way some updates, videos, to see if this doze mode actually helps standby time of the phone. Um, basically, other than that, that's it. You know, there's not that many things. It's supposed to actually uh, implement 
the art runtime system a little bit better and help these apps perform faster uh, if it launches relatively quickly now this phone has slightly better specs than the Nexus 5X other than the processor but the pro I mean, quad core with the hexacore you can't really complain so I mean there's some new animations if you look at uh, opening apps it actually opens from the app other than just from the bottom it out like play games it opens from the app a little animation there's slightly different animations you're gonna see um, it's pretty cool really fast really smooth hope you enjoy it thanks again for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks a lot